Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back. <laughs> so today I'm going to share with you my acne story. For the purpose of this video, I have completely and totally bare skin. You can see all through here how my acne has damaged my face and just everything but I was really nervous to do this video at first just because I hate showing my bare face but um, I've been able to get over it little by little just every day and um, not so much get used to it but get used to the fact that you know what I have this I have um, blemishes left over from my acne and I just had to you know, get up the courage and do something about it. And I did. I have a completely and totally brand new skincare routine. Um, I have changed up my foundation. So, again, I used to use the Bare Minerals. Now I found new foundation that I absolutely love. I've been trying for about a month now before I even wanted to talk about it. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to, you know since I'm talking about my acne story, I figured why not just show my bare face. So here's where it all started. Um, I didn't really get acne in high school. Usually like high school is the peak for most uh, teenagers and any and, and young adult with acne. Um, but I didn't get anything in high school. I really didn't. Um, a few pimples here and there, you know, the usual. I look at pictures of myself when I was in high school and throughout probably like my sophomore through my senior year, it was fine. Um, it didn't start until after high school, which is kind of crazy, and I thought it was so weird at first that I just started getting acne, and it wasn't just like pimples. They're, they were pimples that were underneath the skin, and later on I found out it was like cystic acne, and it just kept piling one after another after another and I would get it all through you can tell from the scarring all through my cheeks and my chin area I noticed that my left side is worse than my right side anyway but um, it was embarrassing it really really was and sorry I'm playing with my hair so much sorry um, I can't it's a little bit messy so I'm just trying to fix it um, and it was really embarrassing and right fresh out of high school I had no clue what to do with makeup so I was like trying to cover it up but it made it worse it was cakey it was drying out my skin it was it was just not doing anything and I just made it worse and then on top of that of course starting college um, six years ago when I started college, I found a part-time job. I started in retail and then ultimately end up, ended up in uh, fast food. I worked for Burger King for almost a year, and in that year, my face just reached its peak of acne. It was everywhere, and, it, and the environment didn't help either. I was under a lot of stress. I was going to school full-time. I was working, which I know everyone does that, you know. Um, so, really, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that with stress, with school, with just regular everyday life, um, that r really took a toll on me. Lack of sleep, I was not getting any sleep at all. Um, I was, you know, working at Burger King, I used to work a lot of like mid shift and night shift, and night shift was the worst because I would get home at midnight and then to wake up at five in the morning and then I just come home, I have to come home, you know, take a shower, get myself ready for bed, put myself to bed, and then wake up at 5 in the morning again to go to school all day and work in the evening. So it was really hard. Um, I'm glad those days are over. I'm really glad. But um, that's really how it started. And it was embarrassing. I hated going out. I hated, you know, even going out with David and, you know, just even my, the beginnings of my YouTube, if you go back to older videos, I did not like my face at 
all. I hated it so much. When I look back on it, I was like, whoa, just, you know, um, I've changed a lot. Uh, my routine has changed a lot. Now, that was me then. Um, let me tell you the kind of skin type that I have as well. I have, um, like oily combination skin. Um, also the oil that my face produces changes throughout the season. So I'm a little bit more dry in the winter time than I am in the summer. Summer I'm, I'm oily. Um, but it's more like combination where I can, you know, it can be either way for me. But it's kind of like I had to figure out a way to uh, solve this problem. I couldn't let it go on any longer. Uh, so the first thing that I did was I did a lot of research for different skin products. So I had to create a skincare routine. And of course, the first skincare routine that I came across and that I, you know, pretty much uh, started is not the same skin routine that I have now. Um, but it was like it paved the way to getting better and like healthier skin. And on top of that, I started seeing a um, oh my gosh, I can't remember their I can't remember the name of their position. They do facials, but this one it wasn't just like a woman who does facials. She she's not a dermatologist. She's something else. Oh my goodness, I can't remember right now. But um, anyway, and us. Uh, esthetician there we go wow I'm having such a moment um, esthetician I start seeing an esthetician and she did you know microdermabrasion on my face she did different facials on my face we tried different products and um, over time um, my face slowly got better I highly suggest seeing an esthetician or someone some sort of professional um, and the main thing for me was getting rid of my acne or at least controlling it to some degree and um, you know figuring out what was going on without going on medication that was the biggest no-no for me I did not want to go on medication at all um, I want I knew there was a natural way or some sort of um, there, there had to be another way than just going on medication. So, um, that's what we did. And we did small doses of like, not doses, but small treatments of microdermabrasion, did just certain masks and facials and it worked. It brought my skin very, uh, to a healthy level and it was just glowing. Um, so what you see now Yes, I have some pimples right here. I don't know where it's coming from. Uh, it's probably hormonal because it's right down here in the jawline. So, and then on top of that, another thing is I bought some, some products and they were expensive. I got them from Sephora and they were like over $100 and it completely broke me out. I don't know if it was just my skin or the products or whatever it was, but I've heard, you know, people on YouTube were like raving about this and so many good reviews were given about these products and it just did not work well for me. So most of the pimples that are here um, is because of that. And that what you see here is just scarring. That's all you see is scarring. And that's what I'm working with right now and trying to slowly over time um, just get rid of the blemishes and the scarring and then and of course the goal is to be left with healthy beautiful glowing skin hashtag life goals for the face <laughs> so yeah that's basically what I've been doing if you want to know my skincare routine now, like currently, because it's changed since the last video that I put up of my skincare routine. Um, it's changed a lot and it's really, really working for me. Uh, so if you want to see that, just leave me a comment, you know, like this video. However, you know, communicate to me that you would like to see it. Um, but what I am going to show you today and kind of like a little mini review is the foundation that I've been using to um, cover up the scarring. To That way when you do put on your makeup, you have this beautiful seamless look on your face and um, David has even commented, and if you don't know who David is, he's my fiance, so um, for those of you that are new and coming across this channel, um, but he's even noticed the change. I've been using this product for a month and it hasn't broke me out. It hasn't done anything. So 
keep your fingers crossed that it stays that way. Um, because most uh, other products like foundations that I've tried like from Maybelline, CoverGirl, Rimmel London were totally terrible for my face. They clogged my pores and it was it was bad. So I was like crossing my fingers here that this one would work out. So I'm kind of going to give you a little mini review. So the product that I'm going to introduce to you guys, you've probably heard it before. You can find it at Ulta and it is called Derma Blend. And if you haven't heard of Derma Blend, well, here you go. It's Derma Blend. Basically, um, what this is, it's a smooth liquid foundation. They have different ones. They have, um, like the powder foundations as well but this one specifically is just their liquid foundation and it's specifically targeting um, your areas on your face that you want to camouflage that's why it's called smooth liquid camo foundation it is medium coverage so a little bit I'm telling you a little bit goes a very very long way um, it's about $30 for an ounce, which to me is pretty pricey, but I wanted to see if this worked and I did a lot of um, research, I looked at reviews, I looked at tutorials, I looked at um, other YouTubers, and the great thing about this is that it has SPF 25 in it, which is pretty decent, um, and also it's supposed to last for 16 hours of course when it's set with powder um, 16 hours and it's waterproof okay so um, trust me I wore this to Disney on my birthday and I put this on at 7 in the morning and my face was completely pretty much almost still flawless like looking at, at the end of the day it, it was that good and I was sweating all day and yeah I had to kind of like go to the bathroom and blot out a little bit of oily areas but that was basically it other than that it was it, it worked very very well for me I every hour or every two hours I was like David how's my face how how is it and he's like no it, it looks good like it's still like it's on point it's still good so um this is a really really good foundation and I use this foundation with I know it sounds weird I use this foundation with their leg and body cover and I this is specifically targeted for like body tattoos or body scarring that you want to cover up and this is like just as strong and camouflaging as the foundation so the reason why I use this one, one, it's the same price, it's about 30 bucks and you get 3.4 ounces rather than an ounce, but I still like getting both and using them together. Here's the reason why. Um, what I'll do is I will take little bits of this and I will, before I put on my foundation, I will put it on the areas and all you need is a little bit, a teeny tiny bit will go a long way, trust me, because it is... Um, Hi, this one is like full coverage, like completely full coverage, like this is what people use to cover tattoos, then you don't need a lot, and then plus this one's medium coverage, so you really don't need a lot of each product. So I put a little bit on just the areas that I want to cover, and I blend it in. Blend it, blend it in until like nobody's business, okay? And trust me, a little bit will blend out a lot and sometimes if I don't feel like putting on the foundation if I'm doing very minimal makeup then I will just put this with some concealer um, set it and it's good for 16 hours and I'm ready to go so I kind of use this as you could say like a like a concealer and that's how I use this and then I put the foundation over top then I use my actual concealer I use the Maybelline fit me concealer and then I set set it with powder good to go and then I continue with the rest of my facial routine um, if you know I with my bronzing the blush the highlighter everything so honestly like this has been amazing if you want to see a tutorial of actually using this then then I would love to do that I would love 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 to do that I'm probably gonna do it anyway just because I I'm totally in love with these products. It has, it has changed my um, my foundation routine. It really has, 
and it doesn't clog my pores. I mean, that's just how it is for me. I don't know how it would work for other skin types, but for me, I think I have found truly my holy grail foundations. Like, I really do believe that. Um, and that's basically, that's basically it. Um, I'm really happy with where my face is now. It doesn't, it's not terrible. It doesn't look bad, but it could be better. And I'm not ashamed of it anymore. I used to be very self-conscious. Like, yeah, it's still like, it bothers a little bit, but not to the point where I just hated going out without makeup. I couldn't go out without anything. Um, if I go out, you know, like this, I'll put on some moisturizer and I'm good to go. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to share that story, share how I got my acne and how I'm currently dealing with it. And if I were to add in my skin routine, oops, if I were to add in my skin routine plus a demo of this, this video would be like an hour long. So I don't want to bore you anymore. It's late at night and... I'm tired and I'm ready to go to bed and I have to go wash my face. So, oh, by the way, if you, I'm sure you've noticed, my hair is not red anymore. It's purple. <laughs> I actually have to go get it touched up in like a couple of weeks. So, um, I'm going to be going on vacation next week. So, I'm, I held off on getting it recolored. But, yeah, it's, it's purple. You can, I don't know about the lighting, but you can see it. And I love it. I love it much better, like so much better than the red. Um, I, red is always near and dear to my heart because I love Ariel, the Little Mermaid. She's my favorite Disney princess. So my long red hair was pretty much like I wanted to be Ariel. But I started off with a haircut, thought I'd stop there, and then I loved purple. Just absolutely loved it. Anyway, so... I love you guys, and I will see you soon, I promise. I know I say that at the end of every video, and then like a couple months later, I'm back. But um, I will be back with more videos. I have more stored up and more in mind. So yeah, if you would like to um, have an actual like tutorial using this so you can see how it works on my face, um, then I'll do that for you guys, and if you want to see uh, what products I use for my skincare, I can do another review on that. So, um, if you are new to this channel, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you subscribe and you like this video, like it a lot. And um, if you are returning, thank you so much for your support, and thank you for uh, sticking in here with me and hanging on with me. Uh, I love you guys, and. Um, I don't know if it's nighttime over there, but if where you are, but if it is, good night. I'm going to be heading off to bed very, very soon. All right, love you guys. Bye.